welcome to Honduras. Honduras, Honduras, Honduras. Honduras. Hola. <laughs> Super sad, Daph, Ellen, and I cannot room. Luckily enough, Daph, me, and Sophie have bonded. So they're gonna room together. And Ellen and I are gonna room together oh, in room 20. And guess what? Well, She's gonna turn 20. <laughs> 20 is the lucky number for this trip, I yes. guess. It's also lightning. thundering, lightning, raining, raining, stormy, pouring. The old man is snoring. But she's raining. <laughs> what do I say? Do I just say hello? What's your name? I'm Luca. How old are you? I am 22. Where are you from? I'm from Liverpool. Who would you like to give a shout out to? Anyone. <laughs> just doesn't matter. Anyone who recognizes Mom, girlfriend? Yeah, everyone. The floor is so slippery. Nobody fall because we will die. Great idea, love. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Luca! It's alright, okay. Bye bye, kids. And I totally told you. Oh. Don't fall. You did, okay. She was very clear to she did say not to fall. I did say not to fall. We're on. Are we live? We're live. <laughs> hey, MTV. Welcome to my crib. Oh my god, it's quite big. It's quite big. The, be the bed's quite big. Oh, these beds are very nice. Oh we can hold hands in the bed. Aww. Oh, pri private bathroom. Yes. Oh. Whoa. It's a power cut. Power outage. <laughs> Ellen is chilling here. Why go out into the rain to get us some beers? So Nick just purchased limes for our Coronas. Am I recording? What did the sushi say to the bee? Wasabi. <laughs> Good morning. This is Ellen and I's day in Honduras together. She's already been up and she's ready. I just woke up. But I need to show you guys the situation with the water. You know how I'm blind? I just washed my hands and put my contacts in. Didn't see what the water looked like. And the water looked fine yesterday, so I assumed it was fine to like wash my hands. Oh, I can't really see on the video. The water is brown. It looks a little clearer now that I've let it run for a bit. Ellen <laughs> opened the door and the cat ran in. <laughs> Oh, she's sweet though. <laughs> I know, we're all crying. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna wash my hands. We're back to our daily routine with me getting cappuccino and Ellen getting her tea. However, this time we have some bird watching being done. We were told that parrots tend to fly over here. So we're on the look. Well, she's on the lookout. <laughs> Yum. Beans on toast. Yeah. <laughs> well, Trigger warning. <laughs> That's probably who did it. That's probably who did it. Here I was walking. A pile of dog poop and I kicked it. <laughs> this dog has been following us for blocks. And it's so cute and I want to pet it, but I don't have my rabies shot. Look. We've moved up in the line. We were over there. She got up and came to sit with us. We got out of the bank and he's still here. Why? Why do you like us so much? Oh my God, Ellen, he's gonna follow us everywhere. Also, they need your fingerprint everywhere here if you're from Canada. I just had to take out money and I had to give my fingerprint randomly. Seriously, dude, <laughs> what's going on? Why are you following us? Now we have another dog that will not stop following us. We went into a shop to try to lose it and it came into the shop with us. You know, every time we move, Hi. Every time we move, he follows us. Oh. Uh, camera shy. Good. Scare him off with the camera. It's also 9 a.m. and the UV is already 6, so. We got back to the hotel. Look who's back. I've also been saying I don't think this town is used to tourists because every time we go out, because we look white probably, we get honked at, yelled at, the whole thing. It's souvenir time. But no sign of a ring anywhere, so. Oh, maybe we are. Oh, yes, 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 thank gosh. It's good we came out because we do need our souvenir and I need my ring, but other than this, there's not much to do in Copan, Honduras, unless you go to see the ruins, which Ellen and I opted out of because Ellen's seen many ruins. So we decided that we would do the parrots watching, which is at 11. So right now it's 10 and we're just trying to kill time. We've walked around the town square like 10 times, there's not really much to do. It's more of a pass through town, not really a stay here town. And unfortunately it's our only place in Honduras that we will be seeing, so. Bad news, found a ring I liked. It's black opal because apparently black opal can only be found in Honduras. Um, they were charging me $130 for it. That's wild. So we're gonna look elsewhere. Okay, came back to the first place. Could not find black opal for a reasonable price. So I got this ring. That's my ring for Honduras. That is some cute money. I love it. We're oh, okay. We're in a tuk tuk. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh. Do not talk to the birds. 
Oh, wow. They're on cages, though. I thought they'd just be around. He's looking us in the eye. Hello, macaws. They're doing laundry in the river. Hardworking mom. Not sure if you guys can see. Baby birds. They look like... Little raw chickens. Yeah, like raw chickens. So this is how they mature. They get all fluffy, and then they start getting their colors. So look at these guys. He, he's mostly colored, but he has, he's got a little bit of fluff. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh my God, finally. This is the moment we've been waiting for. They're just out here. Ellen, are you so excited? Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you want out, hey? They put their nests. Can you see those things? They're like bags. How odd. We're at the very end. I got a little slushy. Ellen's got her ice cream sandwich, but oh she is, she's loving her life because we found the birds in the wild. Can't see it, but all the way over there. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's a, <laughs> There's a macaw in the tree. I think his name is Josh. <laughs> <laughs> We're disappointed because we leave tomorrow, but on Sunday, they're doing the annual release of all of the birds that grew up here and then now they can fly or whatever. It's this big ceremony and it literally happens on Sunday. One thing I do wish I brought was hydration tablets. Like I, I don't drink a lot of water here because the tap water's not clean. Guys, bad news. Gravel's coming out. I think it was because this morning when the water was literally brown, before I even did anything, I like washed my face and it got on my lips or something. We're at lunch with Reese and Tom. Show us your bracelets. So my thing with rings, they're doing their thing with bracelets where they're getting a bracelet from every place. Ooh. <laughs> We're talking about all the places that Ellen's been because she's been on 5G trips. She's well-traveled. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Where's its face? It's get smiling. Get the teeth <laughs> They had nothing that was vegetarian, so I had to go pesky and I'm kind of regretting it. I've got my braider back. Thank God I've missed this. Even though she's aggressive with it, actually. Am I actually? I feel just pain. Okay, folks, we are switching over to the phone because we're going out for dinner and it's pouring rain and I don't want to wreck my camera. Oh, Cheers, my friends. Awesome. Classic dinner things. Well, that's no, really man. good. Yeah, that Delicious. That's nice. So I love people that know random facts. Guess what our friend just did? Named all of the countries off the top of his head. Two Central America. Canada, USA, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, New Africa, and then you want me to do the, the islands as well. So that was Trinidad and Spain. There you go, Barbados, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua and Barbuda. I think that's it. I'm impressed. It's really, really bouncy. Wow. I've been contemplating all my time. My thoughts make me tired. Okay, so this is a hot pool, this is a medium pool, and then this is a cold tub. Looks really dirty. This is a natural sauna. So hot springs heated up. There's holes on the floor, and look, 190 Fahrenheit. Okay, so the issue right now is it's pouring. It's super foggy, and our, our driver cannot see, and we're on the edge of a mountain. So we're just, we're doing great here. <laughs> okay, so I ordered something from this restaurant. Tell me what this is. <laughs> Ellen's got this. What on earth? Yeah. I've been bad at vlogging, but essentially what we did after we survived the crazy rainstorm, so we went out for dinner, you saw a little bit of that because I had the biggest quesadilla of my life. And then we walked home in the pouring rain, and then our shower has only cold water. So Reese and Tom, we used their shower, but then their shower got plugged. 
So then it was flooded. So we were all showering basically in a bath when the shower doesn't even have a bathtub, but we're clean, we're fresh. We have to wake up at 4.30 tomorrow morning to get on a bus by five. And we are crossing back into Guatemala and then into El Salvador. We have to go the opposite way because apparently Honduras and El Salvador, they don't get along. So we have to go through Guatemala. So it's gonna be like a 12 to 13 hour travel day. It is what it is. We're just gonna nap a lot, chat a lot. We're gonna snack a lot. <laughs> What's your head situation? Your, your headset situation right now. <laughs> Anyways, this is it for Honduras, I think. We will see you in El Salvador. See ya, bye. To all my fans. Run away, run away, run away to your